Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lehman, and I will say this before I continue with anything else. I want to say happy Halloween, darlings. Halloween is finally here, guys. One of the best time. Well, you got a lot of people who claim it's the best time of the year for them. I, of course, enjoy Halloween as well because you guys know when it comes to me, I am a horror movie connoisseur. I love horror movies. The only kind of horror movies you will never catch me watching are bug horror movies. I, I can't deal with those. Those horror movies are just too, how do you say, uh, close to home? Yeah. So when it comes to me, um, like I said, I love Halloween. Halloween has always been my favorite time of the year. It's a time when you can become, you can think of things, you can you can do the dark stuff. It's a time where dark stuff doesn't seem so unnormal. Although I would never do anything to hurt anyone, but still, you got some pretty weird stuff out there. So today is October the thirty first, and you guys should know it is one o'clock in the, in the, at night. Well, technically it would be morning, I think. Not sure at all, but it'd be one o'clock. So um, I'm gonna just tell you what I've been doing. Let us. In the last couple of days, I've been working on my Star Stable game on my iPad, which is what you guys are watching me film on. And it's absolutely fun, guys. Oh, my God. I am about to release a new area, area of the game, which is um, Dino Valley. Ooh, can't wait. So, I think after I'm done with Dino Valley, I once I release it, the next one is Epona. And I can finally open that stupid gate over there by the uh, wolf end in the game. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Star Stable. And um, I've decided and in a couple of days, weeks, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, I need a new horse. The one I'm training, he will be hitting 15 very soon. And mm, I love Al Jane. He's my baby. He was my first regular horse that I bought. And most of my horses, they're um, fantasy. They're like color changers and stuff like that. All the stuff for my very first one. So I kind of worked with him and tried to get him up to level 15. But considering I just started this game this year, I am moving very fast in this game. Wow. I'm like way way beyond what I was supposed to be because I know it somebody said somebody it took them a year to reach a pawn or two years or something like that because you got to so because they just opened the pawn up so yeah so right now um I do know that I have did a lot of the things that are required to open with pawn upon her but mm, I'm working on it so tonight is the night of me working on some more stuff to get my, um, my, um, like, get light in Vidal. So I'm working on Vidal right now. So it's fun. I'm having fun and I'm enjoying myself. So yeah. So today is Halloween, guys. And before I do anything else, I want to make sure you guys, I want to say, please be careful out there. If you're going trick-or-treating, kids, please don't eat your candies until your parents do check it for undesirable things. Because unfortunately, these days, you're getting some pretty sick things happening. This actually, it actually happened last Halloween where somebody, I guess they thought it was hilarious to put nails in somebody's, some kid's candy. I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? Don't do shit like that. I mean, don't do things like that. Oh, my God. And, of course, I'm working on, when it comes to Star Stable, I'm also on the um, Halloween update, having so much fun with it. I think I may be a little bit obsessed with the Hunted Trail Ride, okay? A friend of mine has told me I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, I go on that thing. I'm, I've been on that, that Hunted Trail Ride every day. Since I opened it. I can't help it. It's fun. I love seeing the new things that show up in there. Like, I love the ghosts. They're like little ghosts in the game. Like, uh, there's a little kitty. I've seen a pig, dog, cow, uh, horse. I've seen them all. 
So yeah, and I do get my Halloween horse, guys. Oh my god, I absolutely love that 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 Shire. They updated uh, Galper Thompson, which is uh, the guy who controls the Halloween world in Star Stable. He controls Halloween world, so when you go into his keep, as long as you don't do anything to piss him off or something like that, he won't mess with you. But they put a new character in there called the Tormented Soul. Oh my God, guys! I love doing that because you put you give him three soul shards, you get the paper, which is his memories, and you take off out of the the, the, the thing. Now, when you, if you're gonna play that game and you know what I'm talking about, guys, the best way to beat Galloper Thompson when it comes to that is to find a field, stand in the field and wait till he come to you. When that big crackling come out and that and it sky turn gray, take off and keep riding until you just ride in the middle of this field. Once you're done, you get like six soul soul shards and uh, it's something else you get I, I, money or something. I don't know, like those little coins or something that you can spend in there. So I've got a pretty good stuff. Got two pets, two new pets for free. Including one of them is a squash. I love my little squishy squash. My 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 friend, um, they be laughing at me when I tell them I got a little squash. And when I show it to them, they're like good thing got eyes. I like yeah. I love my little squishy squash. So I got the squash. I've been trying to get the other squash, but I can't seem to get them. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it because next Halloween I can go for them again. So I'm not gonna worry about it. As well as new horses. So yeah, I'm having so much fun on that game. Yes. So, uh, if you guys know what Star Stable is, know who plays Star Stable, ask them to show you what the Galloper Keep and stuff look like. You might enjoy. If you got an iPad, you can download it out of the App Store. And I'm not getting paid for this, guys. Believe me, I'm not. You can download the game from the App Store on iPad and iPhone. Play the game. Now, you do have to pay in human currency as well. To become a star rider to play all through the game which i do uh, i'm planning on next year going full star rider right now i'm doing a pay for three months so this would be my last time paying for the three months next year i'm gonna pay full out so that will be that will be the only payment i have to do so i'll get all that over with so yay so i cannot wait to go star rider with this game Oh my god, I'm having so much fun with the game, guys. It's, I mean, there are times when the game drives me up the wall, but it's still good. So, I want to let you guys also know that my girl should be coming soon, I hope. Um, she did tell me that this week will be the week that he ships her. So, when she gets it, she's going to ship it to me. So, I'm just sitting here waiting. So, I want to wait to do the Halloween vi music video next month so i'm sorry guys i've decided that i really want her in the videos she's got to be part of that video because i'm thinking about doing that time just having fun i'm i have a dark little mind so don't worry about that but yeah so i'm gonna wait for sh her to get here i'm hoping this time i actually get her because that would that suck that they stole her like that but like I said, I kind of understand where they're coming from. But the other half of me kind of mad because that wasn't theirs to take. So, that's it for that one. Uh, also, guys, I got to get ready for my Christmas video as well. So, I have like several videos behind each other. I will not be doing any doll box openings. But I will be dressing up my dolls and doing a Christmas dress-up video. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like dressed this for Christmas. For the holidays. I just got to get a few things during that time. So, don't worry about that. I will show you. Okay, guys. I've talked long enough. It's nine minutes already. And what I want to do is you guys came here to see this gorgeous girl standing right here in front of me. Yeah. That's why I'm not holding her. So, guys, when it comes to Halloween, what do you think of? You think of ghosts and goblins and ghouls. But these ghosts and goblins and ghouls can't come out. Without one particular woman's power, or better yet, goddess power. And that goddess is, we know her as the beautiful and gorgeous Nix. Now, the myth of Nix is Nix 
is one of the most powerful. She's not like Zeus or something like that. She's actually a goddess who was there at the beginning. She is the personification of night. She's the personification of the night sky. Darkness, when her beautiful veil, her, everything goes with her when it comes to darkness. She did have children. Um, so the character is that Neats, she's a very powerful goddess, and a very dangerous goddess to mess with. Let's just say Neats is the only goddess that I've ever heard of Zeus being afraid of. So I decided to create my own version of Nyx. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I'm going to push back a little bit, guys, because this girl is big. So, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new, my newest Halloween repaint. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the beautiful, gorgeous, and lovely Nyx goddess. Of the night. Ta -da. Okay, so I'm going to tell you all I can about her. So I ended up taking uh, a pair of clothes. And purple was one definitely part of her scheme. I'm going to push back a little bit more. Purple is definitely part of her scheme. I definitely added blue in there. And uh, white as well. So as you can see, Nix is pretty much adorned. I wanted her, because she's a goddess... She has to be adorned with beautiful jewels. So I ended up finding anything that had to do with witchcraft and magic. So I ended up putting these moon charms as part of her belt. Um, the, the half moon the, the and these, hex, these uh, pentagrams. I did give her, and if you guys are wondering, yes, I did make her hair. And her hair is made of yarn blue and purple because I could not find this wig no a colored wig to match her I really didn't care what I find one and I decided that day that I was definitely going to make a yarn wig this big this is the biggest yarn wig I have ever made never made one any bigger I decided to put like uh, a lot of stuff on her now the reason why I ended up pick, taking this girl and turning her into Nix and because when it came down to Neats, I didn't think Neats would look good as a 60-centimeter doll, would look as a 60-centimeter doll. I think that Neats should be big as life because according to legends, she is a, what do you call it, a titan. She's one of the greatest titans and one of the most dangerous. Like I said, when it comes to Zeus, Zeus was terrified of her. He knew not to mess with Neats. He knew Neats had some power on him. So... But in the leg in the story behind Nix as well, she is a very gorgeous and beautiful goddess. She according to the story, they said she resides in the underworld. I don't know how that happened, but hey, she is darkness itself. Uh and she would definitely personify magic and stuff like that. Even though she's not the goddess of magic, that is Hecates, I think her name is. Hecates or something like that. I can't think of the name. But I know it starts with an H. He Hecates. I think it is Hecates. But as you can see, this girl came out amazing. Now, the reason why I chose to do this doll is because, unfortunately, when it comes to three-foot Barbie dolls, they're very old. They're an old set of dolls. And they're over 20 years old. Some of these old dolls are over 20 years old. And she is one of the original ones. And unfortunately, this girl had started changing color so bad that her neck and body had literally turned a bronze color, uh, also called sun bleaching. So most of the time, sun bleaching turn them white, but when it comes to these girls, it turns them kind of like a brownish color. Unfortunately, there's no way to get rid of this out of the plastic because all it is is the aging of the plastic itself. So because of that, her face was fine, but her arms, her chest... And all that had changed, color, even her legs. So it was pretty bad. And I decided instead of throwing her out and getting rid of her, I just wanted to give her a new life. So I turned her into this beautiful girl, Nix. Now, when it comes to Nix, guys, if you're looking for an even better picture of her, she will be up on my Facebook page. I will be placing her on the Facebook page, and I will be telling the story a little bit about her. 
But yes, I ended up repainting a three foot Barbie, guys. She came out amazing. I, I didn't think she was going to come out like this. Now, all I did was use black paint. And when I put the glue, the glue on, the Mod Podge on for her, I ended up putting glitter in the Mod Podge as for her colors. The, I put blue, purple, silver glitter in her. And I think I even put gold in there. But as you can see, she is very, very twinkly. I did put her some diamonds on her forehead. Um, I did around her eye, I did a white outline as well as a blue outline. So as you can see, this girl came out looking amazing, guys. She came out looking absolutely amazing, and I love her to death. I ended up giving her a necklace, and I made her a pair of shorts underneath her her veil because I didn't want all this showing. And I basically just took her veil, took a black piece of mesh stretchy mesh and made her like a half dress but I made sure she had something underneath and then I made her a belt using the charms I had there's a couple of stars and moons and all kinds and I love the way she came out uh, unfortunately I could not get rid of the ear thing so I did have to pop her head off guys yeah she was hard to deal with she's not as heavy when it comes down to it but other than that Ninx came out looking amazing and if you're wondering, this yarn hair, it took an entire roll of yarn just to do it. Took me two day, two hours to finish it. But in the end, because you have to do the head cap and you have to do her. But in the end, I love the way this came out. And I love the colors that came out in it too. So guys, as you can see, Ninx looks amazing. Ow. Okay, my arm is acting up. I'm so sorry, y'all. But yes. She looks absolutely amazing, and I absolutely love her. So, guys, this video is going to go up at exactly 1 o'clock midnight, soon as the 31st hit. You guys will probably get to see it throughout Halloween, so she will be there. Her pictures will go up on the 31st as well. She will go with me, I think it's Wednesday. I promised to bring her Wednesday to my class. So, yeah. So, but other than that, guys, this is my beautiful and gorgeous Ninx. You guys need to know, I have decided to make her total opposite. Since I got night, I need day. So, I'm going to make a total daylight Barbie doll. But first, I'm going to find one of these to do it to. So, until then, guys, it's getting 18 minutes. And I wanted you guys to know that... When the time comes, I'll let you know when I do the um, do the light one. She'll probably doing do be doing spring, like moon, sun and night day. I gotta do a day, so she's got a twin sister a day. She will be coming very soon, and yes, she will be a three foot Barbie. I will decide which one I'll use. I do have plenty here that I can just use because they're just sitting around. But other than that, this is my beautiful neat guys. And Nix is here to say hi to everyone and wish everyone a happy, happy Halloween. Please be careful. And don't forget, guys, Halloween is the time when the veil between the earth and living and the dead weakens. And during that time, the creatures of darkness can pass through that veil. So, guys, when you go out at night, when you go out tonight, be very careful and watch out. Because you may not know who is really trick-or-treating beside you. Until then, guys, it's getting 19 minutes. I will see you guys in the next video. And I will bring you the, the Halloween music video in November. I'm not going to do anything too harsh. But it will be the late Halloween video. Because I wasn't planning on doing things for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, except for Christmas. Because I need Thanksgiving to work uh, next month to work through all the stuff for Christmas. So, I'm going to go ahead and it won't be anything pretty gr gruesome because the last time I did it pretty good. You will see the return on my Day of Demon Girl. This girl will also be in the video as well as some of my other big three-foot Barbie dolls that I have around. And these are girls, are, some of these girls are going to get dressed up as well for Christmas. So, until then, guys, it's getting 20 minutes. I'm going to say peace out. Love you. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.